Would I have suggested we try for a baby if I was having an affair? No. I, I, don't, I don't know, actually. I don't know. Of course I wouldn't. I just can't get my head around it. It makes no sense whatsoever. Sarah, it makes no sense because it didn't happen. It makes no sense because this girl is absolutely crazy. Oh, yeah, it's always the woman's fault, isn't it? You'll be saying that she's a witch next. Well, listen, if you want to dunk her in the canal to check, you be my guest. I told you we should have kept our distance. Now look what's happened. She's determined to break us apart. No, you did that when you dropped your boxes for her. <sighs> Sarah, yeah, I did sleep with her. But that was like a million years ago when I was at university. I do. I want to believe you, I really do. Well, then trust your gut. Because there's evidence and it is really incriminating <sighs> and there's all these transactions that happened when we're not together and she's with her married man. She must have been scheming for months to frame me. I get it, I get that you were together. Why would she come back to cause trouble for you unless she's telling the truth? I knew my bill was bigger than I was expecting. I should have looked at it in more detail. You're never going to win an Oscar, Adam. Sarah, take my phone. Scroll through it. Try and find any evidence of an affair. You won't find any. Any fool can cover their tracks. I love you. Don't you see that? <laughs> but it's words, isn't it? I love you too. There we go. Then maybe you told her you loved her too. If you believe her over me, then you're crazy. Oh, my... That, well, that's helpful. There's nothing I can see here, is there? Oh. You're determined to believe black is white. Adam... I want you to go. I can't even bear to look at you. This is so unfair. Can you just get out? Hey! Why? Why are you talking to me? Why are you telling people we slept together? Keep your voice down the walls, have ears. Oh, is that right? Well, you know what they like round here for gossiping the drink up. Well, I've got nothing to be ashamed of, so I don't care who hears it. Oh, nothing to be ashamed of. Have you heard yourself? What's well, the truth? Well, you must have a very short memory. Are you still fancy me or something, is that it? Oh, please. The thought of your naked flesh it makes me feel sick. Well, then start behaving that way. But you get off on bossing women about, you do not tell me how to behave. Why are you doing this? Do you really need me to explain? Yeah, I do. Don't hide from me, you know. This is beyond the minute. No, do you know what this is, Adam? It's payback. It's everything you deserve and more. I have no idea what you're on about. Cashed your mind back, Mr Memory. I dated you a decade ago. Oh, is that all it was? Yeah, it was a few months, wasn't it? You tell me. I told you all I know. <sighs> is that really all you think happened? Well, tell me what went down then. You messed up my life. You dismantled me bit by bit. How? Oh, this phone naivety is so galling. Phone naivety? I honestly can't remember, Lydia. That's a final insult. You didn't even recognise me when I saw you again. It's like I was a bit of dirt on your shoe. We were never that serious, were we? I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Adam. I'm going to dismantle your life like you dismantled mine, piece by piece, and there is nothing, nothing you can do about it. Hey, where do you think you're going? It's too late to say sorry, Adam. Did I say I was sorry? No, of course not. Lydia. Lydia, turn around. Lydia, come on, eh? Hey! Hey! You need to tell Sarah! Please, please don't hit me! Everything all right? Does it look like it? It's nothing to see here, all right? You just leave me alone. Mate, if you've been cheating on Sarah, it's your funeral. You don't know the half of it. 